Okay, first off, I apologize if you can hear the fish tank in the microphone. Um, so, okay, so now this apron that I'm making uh, is the simplest thing in the world to make. Uh, I'm making it out of this canvas material. Uh, I think I've used this before in some of my videos. I think actually I used my, uh, I, I, I made my messenger bag out of this. And so uh, I buy this at like Home Depot and you can get it for like, I mean, it's, it's not very much money at all, but it's a huge, I mean, it's like a tarp. And so you get a lot of material for very little money. Now, uh, you could use a pattern material like, a, like some kind of a cloth or something with a, a nice design on it. But the beauty of this here canvas, it's really thick. If you're going to use regular cloth with a pattern or something, it's probably going to be very thin. So you'll have to use a, a, like an interfacing or something like that. And uh, this I won't have to. Now, if you are going to, to use a, a pattern material and you have to use interfacing, basically what the interfacing does, it stiffens it up and makes it thicker. So what you would do is take these two pieces, they're exactly the same size, and you would put the uh, pattern down, it's called the right side, down. You would put your interfacing on here, you would glue it down, and then you would bring these two together like this, so the right sides are facing, and the interfacing is on each side like this, and then you would go from there. This is what I'm doing. So uh, with this here, there's no right side, wrong side, so... I'm just going to use it just like it is. That's the beauty of this material. Now this material is two pieces. They're 14 inches wide by 18 inches long. And the 14 wide is going to be the width of the apron. Now this is not a full apron. This is just going to be one that goes around the waist. And the, only, and the reason why I made it 14 inches is because I don't want it to be too constrictive. You know, I don't want it to be in the way when I'm working out in the garden. So it's not going to go like wrap around my hips or anything like that. So it's uh, 14 inches wide, and then it's not going to be 18 tall because I will be folding this. And also, I have this piece here that is one long piece that came out of that canvas material. Uh, and this is 4 inches wide by 68 inches long. Now, that's pretty long. I mean, so with some people, it might be too long for them. So you just cut this piece down to side. This is going to be the strap that goes around the waist. So now, if you don't have a piece that long, you can certainly go ahead and sew a bunch of pieces together. You put them like this, and you're going to want the, uh, if you're using a pattern, the right side would be out, and you would sew the inside like this here, and then um, it would just fold down like this when you do your folding over. So I'll get to that point, and I'll explain that folding part. But anyways, so it's just made of three pieces. I've got my two pieces here that are the same size, and then my uh, waist strap. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to put these together and I'm going to sew along the long edge, short edge, and long edge, leaving one of the short edges open. So I should also mention that I have ironed all of my fabric beforehand. A little back stitch. So I'm not going to completely bore you guys with this. Now when I was sewing my messenger bag, I had a lot of people mention these clips here that I use. So I put a link below in the description to where I bought mine. And I end it here with a little back stitch. Okay, so I've sewn around these three edges here. That one, that one, and that one. Um, you can't see it because I've used like a cream colored thread, but it's there. And then this one, this one is open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these corners and cut these corners down. But when you cut these corners, make sure you don't cut into the, uh, you don't cut into the thread. So I'm just cutting them down like this. It'll help push, it'll help push the corners out a little bit better. Uh, and then turn this inside out. Okay, so it's all turned out. So now I just take the bottom here and I fold it up. I'm going to go a third of the way, about six inches. Now this is where you can make your own adjustments. You can, uh, you know, if, it's, if 14 is not wide enough for you, then go ahead and, you know, make it 16 or 18 if you want to. Uh, 18 inches long, 
Uh, so the pocket's going to be six inches deep, and I'm going to have six inches extra here. So uh, you can adjust it if you want. You want deeper pockets, then you can certainly you know, raise this up and also go taller with this. So just ad adjust this to the size that you want. But I'm just going to go six inches here because six inches for me is plenty deep. So that's actually six inches about right there. Close. Um, but yeah, you can adjust it any way you want. So once I've got this down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew again all the way around this. I want to make sure that I level these, you know, line these up like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way around this time, all four edges. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, Tom, why did you sew along the bottom when that was already attached? Um, I don't know. I think it looks nicer. Uh, it's not so, like, bowed, right? Uh, it flattens it out, and it just makes a nice edge here, so that's why I did that. And then up here... I'm going to be putting my strap on, so I didn't have to do a, a seam there, but I did anyways because I think it just makes it a, a little stronger, so that's why I did it. Uh, now, as far as the pockets go, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put a stitch in here wherever I think I want a pocket. Now, I always use my Sharpie, so I'm going to put a spot here for my Sharpie. Uh, seed packets, I want to make sure that I have a spot for those, so let's Put it, line up a couple things here and see where we want them to go. Okay, so I've got my Sharpie and I've got my seeds from Grow Your Heirlooms, of course. And then um, I'm not, what I, when I have an apron on with pockets, I don't put hard things like clippers or any kind of a dangerous tool because I just don't like having them there. I always put them on my side in a different pouch. So this is pretty much for when I'm sowing seeds or, or something like that. I'm doing, you know, marking tags and things like that. So this is what it's for. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put a stitch here. I'm going to put one here. And then what I'll do is I will put another one right here in the center here. So I'm going to have one, two, three stitches here like that. So you're probably wondering, how did I make my marks here to guide my uh, sewing machine? Uh, basically, I just used a pencil here. With this canvas stuff, a pencil mark just uh, erases right out. Now, you can also use a piece of chalk if you have it. Uh, they make special pens for fabric that wash right out. Uh, but I, I don't, I, I've never had really good luck with them. And I think they're expensive. So, anyways, with canvas, this just erases right out. So now let's go ahead and start on the strap on top. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is the strap. Now, uh, it, at the ends here, this since this was a whole piece off of the the canvas, the all the whole perimeter of it had a stitching already, right? It was just folded over and stitched. If you don't have that, then you know if you had to piece a bunch of pieces together, then you'll probably have just an open stitch. And then what you want to or open piece of fabric, you'll just want to fold it over and put a, a uh, put a stitch in like this just to keep it from fraying and you won't have an end you know you won't have an open piece when this is done so uh, anyways or also you could you know when once this is all done at the end you could fold this over put a stitch in here uh, any way you want to do it doesn't matter but I just like the fact that there's already a stitch here if you don't have it fold it over put a stitch in then you're done now this being four inches what I'm going to do is fold this in half to two inches right so I'm going to fold this over like this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to iron this whole thing down. Then once it's ironed, I'm going to open it up and there'll be a crease here from that. Then I'll take this each side and I'll fold them into the crease like this. And then I will go ahead and I will iron it again and flatten it out. Okay, so I folded it in half, ironed it, folded these two sides in, ironed it again, and folded it this way and ironed it one last time. So I end up with a one inch piece. It started out as four inches, then it went down to two, then it went down to one. I'm going to find my halfway mark by folding this in half. So that's halfway right there. I'm just going to put this mark right here. And then halfway on my apron right there 
And then to finish this off, I'm going to take my mark here, line it up with that one, fold it over, and then I'm going to stitch this whole thing. Not just here where the uh, apron is, but all the way down. I'm going to put a stitch right along here. And there is the finished apron. Easy peasy, simple to make. It took me about an hour to make this thing. Um, it's not going to win any fancy awards, but very functional. And just about anybody can make this. Okay? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the little bell so you'll get notifications when I upload a new video. We'll catch you later.